Local Memphis rapper Justin Johnson, also known by his rap name Straight Drop, has been captured by the FBI for the murder of Memphis rapper Young Dolph. He was found in Indiana. Let's watch a news clip and I'll be back to talk more about it. Getting it started with breaking news first at six. Two suspects are now charged in the murder of Young Dolph. Tonight we're learning more about what led to their arrest. Thanks for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Greg Hurst. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. The charges come nearly two months after the shooting death of Young Dolph, whose real name is Adolph Thornton Jr. U.S. Marshals say 23-year-old Justin Johnson was captured this afternoon in Indiana. The second suspect, 32-year-old Cornelius Smith, was indicted today on multiple counts, including first degree murder. Now, Smith was arrested last month in South Haven, Mississippi for an auto theft involving the white car that was believed to be the getaway car in Young Dolph's killing. That car was stolen at a gas station on Kirby Road a week before the murder. Johnson, who goes by the rap name Straight Drop, posted on social media that he was going to turn himself in yesterday, but that didn't happen. He was captured today after being put on the TBI's most wanted list. Authorities say they'll release more information about his arrest tomorrow and we'll be sure to keep you updated. Apparently, Justin has already retained a lawyer. Fox 13 Memphis wrote an article on Monday, January 10th, before Justin was in custody, detailing his social media activity up until that point. At the end of the article, they wrote, quote, we reached out to Johnson's attorney, Art Horn, on Monday. Horn said if and when he speaks, it will be after his client turned himself in, end quote. Art Horn, also known as Arthur Horn, is the same attorney that represented Black Youngsta in the 2017 shooting where Young Dolph was targeted but unharmed. Black Youngsta went to jail for that shooting, but the charges were later dropped due to lack of evidence. On this attorney's Instagram profile, he says that he is, quote, a man of God, father, avid golfer, trial lawyer, personal injury lawyer, and counsel to CMG slash Yo Gotti, end quote. But as of late, according to Fox 13 Memphis, Arthur Horn has now dropped Straight Drop as a client. Jeremy Pierre of Fox wrote on Thursday afternoon, quote, new information, old Straight Drop, Justin Johnson needs a new lawyer. Art Horn just told me Drop got dropped. Horn confirmed he is not representing anyone associated with the Young Dolph murder case, end quote. Memphis police says they received over 500 tips on where to find Straight Drop after offering the $15,000 reward for his whereabouts. Let's watch another news clip together on how they apprehended Justin in Indiana. And yesterday, with the uh, assistance of our headquarters Investigative Operations Division, uh, headquartered at Marshall's headquarters in Arlington, Virginia, uh, we got a tip that Justin Johnson was traveling on Highway 42 in Indiana. So we contacted the Great Lakes, U.S. Marshall's Great Lakes Regional Fugitive Task Force and asked for their assistance. And so through a coordinated effort, they were able, they were able to stop a vehicle as it pulled into a truck stop in Brazil, Indiana, just outside of Terre Haute and Justin Johnson was safely taken into custody. Uh, and I just want to also give credit to the Indiana State Police, the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, and the Terre Haute Indiana Police Department for their assistance. And once he was taken into custody, we also identified a second person that was in the vehicle with him. This man that goes by the name of Shondell, I spell his name S-H-O-N-D-A-L-E, Barnett, B-A-R-N-E-T-T, -T, Shondell Barnett. Date of birth is February 6, 1994. He's originally from Memphis, but lives in Dallas. Chandel Barnett is a person who we believe was providing assistance to Justin since we've been looking for him. He now faces charges of accessory after the fact to first degree murder. He's been housed at the Clay County, Indiana jail, and he will face, and there was a state warrant that the marshals filed on him, and so he will face the, uh, go through the extradition process of being extradited back here to Shelby County. Now. Uh, Justin Johnson, on the other hand, he was transported to the Knox County, Indiana jail, and he was booked on a violation of federal supervised release. He went before a federal magistrate in the Southern District of Indiana this morning at 1130. He waived his identity hearing and he waived his bond hearing. So in essence, he has agreed to come back to face the federal supervised release charges in the Western District of Tennessee. He will go before a judge in this building, go before a federal magistrate and have an initial appearance on that charge. I can't give you a timeline for, for safety purposes, but just know that um, when he's ready to be transported, the marshals will be bringing him back here to this to face those charges. They also revealed the charges the other suspect, Cornelius Smith, will face. Justin Johnson, who is a wanted person of interest in the murder of young Dolph, Adolph Thornton, is now in custody. Thanks to the Marshal Service and their 
dogged, relentless, and unwavering commitment to getting this individual off the street. Cornelia Smith is now in custody as well, pending the following charges. First degree murder, criminal attempt, first degree murder, convicted felon in possession of a handgun, employing a firearm during the commission of a dangerous felony, and theft of property in the amount of $10,000 to $60,000. This past weekend, Justin posted on his Instagram story saying, quote, turning myself in Monday at 2.01. I'm innocent. I'll be back sooner than you can blink. But Monday had passed and it didn't seem that he had turned himself in yet. Justin also posted a news clip on his Instagram Instagram page with the caption, next time post the real blog. The clip he posted is of a news panel talking about him and why people like him who commit violent crimes, such as shooting people, are able to get out of jail without doing any real time, only to commit even worse crimes in the future. Justin was involved in a shooting a few years back and was let out of his prison sentence early. Some blogs claim that he was let out early because he snitched. Here's the clip he posted. Admitted to what he did and said, you don't need to indict me. I'll agree to my charges. Because he had no record, he was range one which is three to six years. Because there were three people involved, he pled guilty to five years in prison and agreed not to ask for probation. He agreed to go to prison. Kraft says because Johnson was so well behaved in prison, he was given probation and released. After six months, he filed a petition to ask for probation because he'd done all these classes and he'd gotten arranged to have a job with the painting company when he got out and done all this and came to court and everyone agreed, we didn't even have a hearing, everyone agreed that he had no record, that he admitted to what he did, and he had done all this stuff while in prison, and they agreed to put him on probation. He immediately admitted to what he did. Justin then posted that he was putting out a new music video of a song called Trackhawk, but only three people were waiting for the premiere on YouTube. He shared a screenshot of that on his story writing, it's gonna take more than that, but Trackhawk drop at one, end quote. He posted that he dropped the video by writing, back again, straight drop, Trackhawk, official video out now, link in bio, with the hiding monkey face and flame emojis. He continued, nothing but gangsta shit on my record. It's police and bogus. All my charges I did time for or either got dropped. End quote. The video starts out with straight drop on what looked like a balcony in front of a Bass Pro shop. Remember one of the shooters can be seen wearing a Bass Pro hat on the surveillance footage from the shooting. Rapping on what sounds like Pusha T's back in Blood Beat with lyrics that say things such as, got that get back for my man, tell him little boy stop playing. 50 shots in 20 seconds, this shit go fast like sand. We put switches on them glizzies and put dubs in rubber bands. Out of state, I'm still strapped. I got choppers all in Atlanta. Feds watching on fake page, don't up guns up in my camera. Keep my mask the only time he see my face when I blame him. Call me Mr. Handle Business. Halt something down when it be Anna. End quote. It seems like Straight Drop may be trying to do something similar with this song, Trackhawk, as the rapper Tay K did with the song The Race back in 2017. While awaiting trial for a robbery gone wrong, which ended with someone being murdered, Tay K decided to cut off his ankle monitor and document his evasion on social media. According to Wikipedia, Tay K, whose real name is Tamor Trayvon McIntyre, recorded and released The Race while a fugitive from the police after escaping house arrest before his trial on capital murder charges. Tay-K makes references to this during the song, with the chorus being, fuck a beat, I was trying to beat a case, but I ain't beat that case, bitch, I did the race. The charges on which McIntyre was later convicted stem from a home invasion where 21-year-old Ethan Walker was killed. The song was later presented at Tay-K's trial on the aforementioned murder charges as it contained details of the murder and his motivations for it. During the chorus of the song, Tay-K says, pop a then I go out my way. Do the dash, then I go out my way. Robin the shoes, Robin the lace. We trying to see a hundred bands in our face. Tay-K released several songs while on the run from the police, including The Race, which was recorded during McIntyre's stay in New Jersey. And the music video was released on YouTube two hours after his capture. The Race debuted at number 70 on the US Billboard Hot 100 after a large hashtag campaign pursuing the release of McIntyre using the hashtag Free Tay-K. The Race peaked at 44 on Billboard Hot 100. End quote. Take care received a massive amount of media coverage, praise for his song, The Race, and his crime spree while eluding law enforcement. Some people commended him for actually living what he rapped about. Billboard.com wrote, The Race has captivated the hip hop world with its blurring of life and art. Wanted for a capital murder charge and in connection with other violent crimes, the young rapper can be seen in the video flashing handguns and posing next to a wanted poster bearing his own face. I was trying to beat a case, but I ain't beat that case, he raps. I did the race. As the tale of Tay-K recording a song about being on the run while actually being on the run continues to spread on blogs and social media, the race has started to enter the mainstream, debuting at number 70 on Billboard's Hot 100 last week and reaching number 52 this week with 13 million streams up from 10 million from the week before. Rappers including Meat Mill, Designer, Lil Yachty, Kodak Black, and Travis Scott have supported the song's word of mouth rise on Twitter and Instagram, posting clips of the track or its lyrics and sharing the free Tay-K 
hashtag. The song's airy melodic beat has also become a go-to for artists' freestyles, conferring a certain respect. With his video surpassing 26 million views, the race barely two minutes long also hit number two on the SoundCloud chart and sits near the top of Spotify's viral 50 and most necessary playlists. End quote. Although many fans call for Tay K's freedom and he landed a record deal for his antics, in 2019, at the age of 19, Tay K was sentenced to 55 years in prison. As of today, Straight Drop's track hot music video has about a half a million views. Key Glock has posted and deleted a few things on his IG story, like, quote, Clout will kill you, and an old tweet from Young Dolph that read, I want validation from these social apps so bad that it cost them their life. End quote. I'm Amber. Do you have a story that you would like for me to cover? If so, email us at whogotthestory at gmail.com.